Good afternoon, Jays. I hope everyone made it to school safely today because we have a great show lined up for you. Starting off with a top story from Charlie about the Chiefs parade yesterday, followed by some announcements and then a sports report by Brooke and finishing off with a segment from IAM about the snow day that should have happened. It's a jam-packed show and it's going to be awesome, so sit back, relax, because this is K. as well as giving speeches at Union Station. If you were like me who didn't really want to freeze to death and missed it, Charlie has a recap for you now. Good morning, Jays. I hope everyone enjoyed the red snow day from yesterday. The reason for the snow day was the parade, of course. The Chiefs parade, which took place to celebrate the 38-35 Super Bowl win over the Eagles, was a huge success. All of downtown KC was littered with Chiefs Kingdom. The parade featured so many fans arriving before the sun was even up at 6 and 7 a.m. and some who went the night before and camped out the entire night. Going into the day yesterday, experts predicted upwards of 500,000 Chiefs fans to show up. But according to NPR and the radio station KCUR, there were over 1 million fans there to support the second Super Bowl in the last four years. Overall, there were two different events yesterday. It started with the parade where players bust and walked, going, uh, giving out high fives, signatures, photos, cigars, and even some celebratory beverages for almost two hours before reaching Union Station where then the second event would start. This was the rally. This is where owner Clark Hunt and general manager Brett Veach, along with Andy Reid and star players like Nick Bolton, Patrick Mahomes, Travis Kelsey, would have the opportunity to talk to hundreds of thousands of fans that were there to support the Chiefs. With the amount of people that were there, fans were forced to almost to the side between either the parade or the rally. Either way, both saw record-breaking numbers of fans and were completely full of Chiefs spirit. Hopefully next year, we will be celebrating another Chiefs Super Bowl victory at yet another parade or rally. For KLHS, this has been Charlie Marshall. Thank you, Charlie. I love seeing our city come together and celebrate. What an amazing experience. Moving on to some announcements, speaking of amazing experiences, you will not want to miss the Exit 16 performance tonight at 7 p.m. in the pack. Exit 16 is our improv group here at LHS and they are hilarious. Tickets are $5 each and they are also selling fan and super fan t-shirts which you can purchase to show your love. To purchase tickets you can scan the QR code here or you can find their posters throughout the school. We will be right back after this quick commercial break. Catfish and Tater is a local, female-owned business here in the heart of downtown Liberty. Opened in 2008 and has served thousands of happy customers. They have everything from accessories to exclusive Chiefs apparel, new clothing bi-weekly, body care, houseware, and more. Not to mention an amazing handmade kids' corner by the owner's adorable son, Harbor. Can't find what you need on the main floor? No problem. There's an upstairs level with even more amazing finds. Make sure to shop at Catfish and Tater today. Welcome back, Jays. I want to take a moment to congratulate the following students for participating in the NWMSU Four Day Honor Band Clinic and performance on January 21st. Congratulations, Alex Furman, Carly McGee, Maria Mendoza, Olivia Mencia, Grace Owen, Claire Parker, Sophia Phillips, Jacob Smith, and Maria Smith. Thank you so much for your hard work and dedication to the band. We appreciate you guys so much. For our last announcement, we just want to have a quick reminder that the annual four-day weekend is coming up. Tomorrow, February 17th, the Staff Professional Development Day and school will not be in session. And then on Monday, February 20th, it is President's Day. So Jays, take this long weekend to decompress and relax because school will not resume until Tuesday, February 21st. That is all the announcements I have for you today. Let's head over to Brooks Babcock for a sports report, followed by a segment from IAM about today's flash freeze. What's up, Jays? I hope you all had a good day off yesterday. We're going to start some things off with some basketball. On Monday, it was senior night for our Lady Jays basketball team, and they played Lee Summit North. These girls fought hard on senior night, 
but they would be down 32-39 to at the start of the fourth quarter. They kept it close in the game, but they would eventually come up short and leave this game in a loss 57-52. to They will now fall to 3-5 in conference play and 13-9 and overall. On the bright side, two players did stand out on the game, one of them being Mariana Toms, who led the team in points with 13 and 8 rebounds. And she also received uh, the Wheeler Home Group Leadership Award. Another player that stood out to me was Alex Darling. She put up 12 points and shot 5 for 10 in shooting. Moving on to the men's side of things, it was senior night on Tuesday and they played Lee Summit North. And they dominated and got a win 63-51. to Kill Mortimer for the Jays was the top scorer in that game and put up 14 points. While Adam Fuller and Zach Aganovich both had 12 points. Both our men's and women's teams will head to Park Hill South on Friday, so make sure to show out if you plan on going. Our women's wrestling team already competed in their district and took first place overall. Three of the girls took first in their weight class, and for state, they will have seven wrestlers competing. Congratulations, girls, and good luck. This weekend, our men's wrestling team will head over to Liberty North and compete for districts. This will also de determine who goes to state. Our reporter, Angeline, St Angeline Stowers, will be interviewing one of these wrestlers. Um, I'm looking forward to like the conflict that's going to happen because, well, we aren't very much liked by a lot of schools because of like, not to be cocky, but like how good we are. But um, I'm really looking forward to like the conflict and like just some matches that are going to be really big at districts this year. Thank you, Angeline, and good luck to our wrestling team. Lastly, our women's swim team made their way to St. Louis yesterday for state. Prelims are currently happening as we speak, and they have finals tomorrow. It is the biggest team LHS has sent to state, as 13 individual swimmers qual qualified and our three relays competing at the state level. We will have an update come Tuesday, but in the meantime, good luck, girls. And that's all the sports I have for you today. I hope you all enjoy your four-day weekend. This has been Brooks Babcock signing off for KLHS. Okay, right, wait, we'll... Blair. Blair, five. Hey Jays, and happy should have been a snow day today. I hope you guys didn't fall walking into school today. Lately, the weather has had big swings between different temperatures in Kansas City, and today we are seeing mixed precipitation and ice. Although the temperature is between 22 and 32 degrees, it actually feels like it's 15 degrees. Temperatures will look the same most of the day, so expect windy conditions until around 3 p.m. today. There are high chances of blowing snow that, that could significantly reduce visibility while driving, so if you are a student who drives to school while getting Getting out of school today, slow down, use caution while traveling, and plan on slippery road conditions. If you slipped or fell on the ice while walking into school this morning, even if you were not injured, please talk to a teacher to get an incident report filled out. And teachers, if you heard that a student fell or slipped on ice while walking into school this morning, even if they were not injured, please send them to the nurse's office. The link to the incident report is on the KLHS Twitter page at KLHS underscore J's. Remember, along with cold temperatures may come the increased chance of cold sickness. Make sure you are bundling up and wearing your hats, jackets, and long pants. Well, Jays, I hope you have a fantastic day. Stay warm, stay safe, and have a great four-day break. I'm Ayam Tong signing off for KLHS. Thank you, Brooks, Angeline, and Ayam. It was definitely scary coming into school today. It's crazy to think that the roads were totally fine until it was time to leave for school. With that, our show is coming to an end, so please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. A huge thank you to Charlie Marshall, Brooks Babcock, Angeline Stowers, and I am Tong. For KLHS, I'm Claire Hamilton. Be safe outside today, and I'll see you on Tuesday.